cause tonight for the first time. Just about half past ten for the first time in history. It's gonna be raining. Oh, Twilight. Twilight. Be right there, Mrs. Rose. Hi, Moira. Hello, everyone. Hey. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Yeah, see you too. Sorry about that. I wasn't sure whether you were waiting for your family or a friend. No, just an intimate breakfast. Nothing special. No big ladies' bruncheon for me. Ladies' bruncheon? Oh, whatever that was. A gathering of the girls. I... Oh, you mean the Jazzigals? I do. Yeah, the Jazzigals is our singing group. A singing group? What fun. Yeah, Jocelyn started it a few years ago, and it's been great. We even went to New York once. Oh, a trip to the big city. How grand. Let me guess, a bucket of shrimp in Times Square, followed by a Lion King matinee. No, actually, we performed in Central Park. S Central Park, really? Yeah, for the Little Town's Big Voices Festival. You do realize I'm a professional vocalist. Oh, really? I thought you were in, like, a soap opera. Oh, I didn't know you were a fan, thank you. My roots are in the theater, especially musicals. Anything Andy Weber. Wow. So did you record an album? Oh, yes, you'll find me on ensemble tracks 7, 9, and 13 of the original cast recording of Starlight, Starlight Express. Well, then you should definitely talk to Jocelyn. She would love to have you in the group. Well, perhaps Jocelyn should speak to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Menu? Yes, please. I'm still not quite off book. I can't come in, but I do have some good news. That's great. What's your news? <laughs> <laughs> well, a little bird chirped in my ear about your singing group. Oh, you mean the Jazzigals? Yes. At first, I wondered aloud, why would a competitive vocal group not reach out to a trained chanteuse? Oh, we're just a group of gals. Exactly. That's the answer. Small minds don't reach for the stars. No more. Not on my watch. Jocelyn, I am here. You want to audition for the Jazzy Gals? Uh, <laughs> audition. Uh, though I'm sure you mean no offense. In the actual world of entertainment, I'm what's known as offer only. Moira, I know you're a great singer. Everybody has to audition, and I can't have you not audition. It would open up a whole can of worms. I mean, even Gwen had to audition, and she was in a regional production of Annie. Who hasn't been? Listen, we would love to have you. You think about it. To rearrange the sky so that each and every woman could find the perfect guy. Oh, it's raining men. Yes. Bravo. Bravo. Moira. Hello, you. Hi. Sorry for interrupting. I just, I just thought I'd stop by. I was in the neighborhood. Maybe I should showcase my talents. I thought for the group. Oh, that's great. Great, you can call it an audition if you must, or uh, an impromptu performance, or perhaps an evening with. That all sounds amazing. Um, we're just finishing up a rehearsal. We just have to work out a couple of rough spots in Lena's solo, and then you can have the floor. I'll wait. Far be it from me to get in the way of you making any necessary improvements. Okay, so we're almost there. Let's just work out some of those little rough spots, okay? Let's take it from for tonight for the first time. Okay. Cause tonight for the first time, just about half past ten, it's raining, ma'am. Every specimen. Yeah, almost there. 
Okay. Really good, though, yeah. Okay, Moira, you're up. I just noticed the time. Wow. And you're all very busy, so why don't we reschedule this for two weeks from now, when you're all more prepared? Oh, no, we were done early. We got plenty of time. Thank you. But I think I'm finding a little bug. Come on, Moira, audition. I would love to learn from a professional singer. Or we could just all go home early. Come on, Moira. Moira. Stop. Moira. Moira. <laughs> That's Moira. 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 I can't say no to anyone. <laughs> Someone helped me all that long. It should have been you. Someone's arms were big and strong. It should have been you. I, 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 I warned you I was lonely, but you didn't seem to care. No, no, no. I should get a bit too, too, but I had a heat of woman's tears. Step and a shank low. I don't want to see you get to be to stand up at the chair. Someone loved me all night long. It should have, it should have been you. You. That's the end. Wow. That was different. Thank you. Well, thank you. I'll leave you to discuss. <laughs> no, it's ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 Gwen, you took the lower third. Well, could you please then? I've already locked mine in. Thanks, doll. Moira, I was just thinking about you. Well, thank you. What if we switched parts? Switch parts? For the duet next week. Oh, Jocelyn, the duet. I must apologize. There seems to have been a change of plans. Moira's gonna be in a movie. <laughs> a movie? Well, <clears throat> I'm sure you've seen The Crows Have Eyes. This would be the second in the franchise. Wow. Mm. I have never heard of it, but congratulations. Thank you. Shame about the duet, though. Yeah, we were gonna have a pretty incredible audience for the performance next week big tour group coming through, so. Then you'll cut the number. No, I don't, I don't think that's a possibility, actually. Twyla, what if you took Moira's part for the duet next week? Oh, I would be honored. God, it'd be such big shoes to fill. No, Twyla, no. No deprecatory mocking. One must champion oneself and say, I am ready for this. Otherwise, the pressure could be crippling. So I was thinking for the chorus, yeah. we could sway like we're actually islands in the stream. Oh yeah, that's good. Hi, I'm here. Moira, what about your big movie? Oh, that, they're still hounding me, but I took a moment to stop and think about what is really important in life. And while the Bosnian Riviera is a majestic locale, it can't hold a candle to singing with you wonderful working women here in our makeshift rehearsal studio. Well, I'm flattered, but um, Twyla's been working on your part for the duet, and I really don't think that that would be in the spirit of things to take that from her. But the song was my idea, Jocelyn. John and I made David to that song in Positano. Hey, why don't we just show you how we're doing, and you could offer up some professional advice. For now. Okay. <clears throat> From one lover to another, uh huh. Islands in the stream. That is what we are. K H E O K. No one in between. Supposeamo essere sbagliato. Sail away. Salpate con me. Okay, jazz and gals, let's gather in for a warm up. Okay. Oh, so before we start, I just wanted to warn everybody there is a murderer on the loose. 
in this town. Uh-oh. So heads up, eyes peeled, guys. Twyla, are you all right? I will be, if I can get a few friends together this weekend to catch this murderer. Until then, it shall remain a mystery. Oh, I think I know where this is going. <laughs> it's my murder mystery party this weekend. Oh, I see. Sorry if I scared anyone. As long as we have some time, I thought we might revisit this delightful little number. I can't even remember why we stopped working on it. Because we're an ensemble group, and this requires a lead vocal that just happens to be in your range. Johnny, when one of us shines, all of us shine. That is the meaning of ensemble. Sorry, gals. I just got caught up on the phone. I have some good news and some bad news. Oh, is the bad news that there is no good news? My aunt used to play this game with me a lot. The good news is, I just got off the phone with the Little Town's Big Voices Festival, and the Elmdale Songbirds have had to drop out at the last minute. They got a terrible stomach flu that just ran right through them. So the festival was wondering if the Jazza Gals could sub in tonight. <gasps> oh, wow. And of course, oh. the bad news is, is that Moira and I won't be able to attend. Oh. No, I'm sorry, why, why can't I? Because your daughter's graduating high school. Oh, and what a grand night it will be. Congratulations, graduates. In honor of your achievement, we have an extra special surprise. Hmm. Okay, I think we're good here. Oh, really? She said that. Extra special. I think we should stay. Mm. <laughs> David? Oh, no, you can speak freely in front of the gals. No, no, David's fine. David's fine. A little depressed. Stevie had to force him into her car, but you know. Then to what do we owe this off-book sojourn? Well, I thought about what you said, and I didn't want to fall into old habits, so I delegated the rest of the cleaning to Roland. Sweet gesture, but was that wise? <laughs> no offense, Jocelyn. I was going to ask him the same thing. <laughs> and that frees us up for a little date night uh, after you finish rehearsing. Oh, where are you taking her? The cafe. <gasps> if that doesn't scream romance. There was a time when this dusky charmer used to constantly whisk me off to ports unknown. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Johnny, Ronnie could always use another baritone. Why don't you join us? Oh, oh, oh no. No, I'm just here to show support. So, as you were. Oh, my husband, the portrait of self-effacement. You should all know that this man's voice melted more than a few hearts. <laughs> Johnny, why don't you just come and join Ronnie? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, oh, no, no, I haven't used the old pipes in so long, and I, I wouldn't want to uh, impo ho 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 Oh. <laughs> I got perfect pitch, so do not mess this up for me. I understand. Okay. Do I feel so do far do away. Do 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 One, two, three, four. Do I feel so far away. We're taking it home, taking it home, taking it home. Yeah. <laughs> 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 not bad. 
<laughs> Not bad. Oh, thank you, Ronnie. Oh, John, a near perfect return to form. <laughs> I thought it was really great. Uh, Mrs. Rose, I didn't know there were two singers in the family. Well, professionally speaking, there's still only one. <laughs> but I do applaud the vigor with which you embrace recreational activities such as this, Mr. Rose. Well, anything to spend a little more time with my special little songbird. Ooh. Okay, ladies, if you don't mind, I'm going to allow my husband to steal me away for a modest repast across the avenue. And I should get back from my shift. And we're still going for post-rehearsal mocktails, right, ladies? I don't know about anybody else, but I am drinking. So we're all headed in the same direction? It looks like it. I'll get up the fancy martini glasses. Fun. Boy, we never did this back in the Rose video days, did we? No, but I'm sure we had our reasons. <laughs> and so, he says to the cop, well, if it was mine, I wouldn't have put it in my mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, Veronica, once again, you reign supreme as the queen of the triple entendres. I just have to say this. I know that we are the jazz gals but it was pretty great to have a jazz -a guy in our midst today. Oh. Yeah, if you're around next week, it wouldn't hurt to have the help. Not to dim the charge on this delightful conversation, but John, why don't you and I go and get the gals another drink? Okay. No, no. The next round is on us for our newest member. Lemonades for Moira and me. And two Cosmos for the baritone section. Yes, please. <laughs> 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 John, I want to thank you for what you did for me today. And I know it was done with the best of intentions. I'm getting the sense I did something wrong. Oh, not at all. In fact, you've enlightened me. I realize I take one thing for granted in this town. Oh, Moira. My time with the Jazza gals. Ah. As sad as it sounds, these rehearsals have become a tiny oasis in the echoey canyon that I now call my social life. I don't know if you've noticed, John, but this transition has not been the easiest for me. Yeah, I can't say that I have not noticed. Aside from rehearsals, few things keep me going. My nightly sleeps, afternoon naps, and, of course, meals with my husband. And there will be more of those. But, John, I have so few pleasures that if I start combining them, then I'll have even less to look forward to. I understand, Moira. So, would you like me to leave you to cocktails with the gals? Then? Oh, God, no. We'll leave together, please. There are only so many ways I can feign amusement at Ronnie's Commedia del Commode. Moira. Mm. It's so wonderful that you made this happen for Johnny. Yeah. But we were supposed to be caroling at the senior center 30 minutes ago. Oh, Jocelyn, surely the dentures have been dropped in the glass by now. Can't we spare one carol here before we go? Why not? Yes. <laughs> Twilight. Silent night. Looks like you're crying. Well, I'm not. It's just we're. We ran out of red. Oh. I 
actually might not be able to make it to rehearsal today. Roland was supposed to watch the baby, but he's got tied up at the motel. So. Oh, Jocelyn, if you can't make it to rehearsal, no one's gonna hold it against you. Yeah, the baby comes first. Well, I just feel bad because we really need to rehearse that Nine Inch Nails medley for our concert at Yarn for Cheap. I'd be more than happy to spearhead that effort, Jocelyn. After collaborating so closely with the director on Crows, I feel even more finely attuned to the fluctuations of the human condition. Okay, it's just I thought that was sort of my... Even if you miss a performance, Jocelyn, there will be others. And don't worry about your solo, Jocelyn. I know it by heart. I actually sing it quietly every time you do it. I know, Twyla, and it's not that quiet. Anyways, I guess I could just sit this one out. Oh, looks like somebody's up. No rest for the wicked. Well, these days, either he's crying or I am. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> See you in a little bit later. Bye. Bye. I'll get the door. I'm, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, my God. So moody. Love it. Now, Ronnie, the line has been changed to I want to kiss you like an animal. I remember it on the day. Well, I say we wrap things up on a high. <laughs> Ladies, scour your closets for black leather. Pleather accepted. I'm here. I found a sitter. Oh, Jocelyn, I'm afraid that dirigible has ascended. But I'm here on time. Yes, you are, but we started an hour early. Ronnie has a massage. You moved the rehearsal for Ronnie's massage? Oh, well, it was also conducive to Twyla's schedule. It's hard for her to juggle. What with the cafe? Oh, is it hard for her to juggle? And none of you here thought to tell me about this little time change? You said you couldn't make it because of the pepe. We could start rehearsal over. Oh, no. Don't make any changes on my account. I mean, you've got to get to the cafe, and Ronnie's got to have a massage. I have sciatica. I ran all over town looking for a babysitter. Oh. Pulled a number off a telephone pole. She's a pet sitter, but she said she'd make an exception. I don't even know her last name. Jocelyn, that sounds dangerous. I didn't want to miss this rehearsal. But do any of you care? Well, apparently not. Because all of you have been acting like a bunch of B-words. <gasps> OK. Evidently, one or two of you have gotten under her skin. I'll handle it. Gals, let's welcome our dear friend Jocelyn back into the circle. Oh, should we be in a circle? Mm -hmm. It's not top secret. We all know Jocelyn has trouble being honest. Do we all know that? Wrong word. OK. Authentic. I think I can take it from here, Moira. All right, then. Gals, since the baby, things have just been really tough. That's good. That's good. Expand on that. OK, and I feel like sometimes that my voice isn't being heard in this group. Touch louder, Jocelyn. Just because I don't ask for your help doesn't mean that I don't need it. Just a little more specific. We're all here to help you. OK, OK. Well, Ronnie, I know that you've been getting a lot of massages lately because they're supposed to help with your bad back and stabilize your mood, but I haven't noticed an improvement. And sometimes you sing too softly. Agree to disagree. And Twyla. I'm sorry, I'll sing louder. Nope, you are singing too loud. Wonderful. Let it out, Jocelyn. And Moira. OK, we could stop it there for today. We are all sick and tired of hearing about Bosnia. Yep. It's Bosnia this, and Crows that, and oh, Blazica. We're just grasping at straws now, Jocelyn. But this has been a fruitful exercise. Don't we all feel better? Look at Twyla. Look how moved she is. Oh, no, I'm fine. No, I'm not going to be the one to tell her. Tell me what? No, it's not about you, Moira. Was it about Twyla needing to pick up the pace on that solo? What? No, it's about the Poison concert tonight being canceled at the casino. And that's a problem because... Jocelyn's been looking forward to it for weeks. This is her one night out. Not to worry. If she's anything like I was with a little moppet in the house, she'll find any ruse to escape for an evening. The Poison concert was merely a device. Uh-oh, ladies. Somebody better call Poison Control, because tonight's going to be nothing but a good time. Yeah, I'm not going to be the one to. OK, Jocelyn, you might want to take a seat. Oh, no, there's no time for that. 
No, no, we have to rehearse our poison medley because when Ricky Rocket makes direct eye contact with you during Talk Dirty to Me, you are gonna wanna talk dirty back. Well, gals, this is getting painful. Jocelyn, wonderful news. They've refunded the price of your ticket for tonight's concert. What? But I don't want a refund. No, the show got pushed. Looks like they double booked Poison with the Doodle Bops and the casino just sent out an apology. Well, what are we supposed to do now? I didn't pump for four hours straight to get on a chartered bus to go to the end of the street and back. We could go to the cafe. Oh, well, do they have a smoke machine at the cafe? No, but I can ask George to burn something on the grill. This is just sad. Why can't we still go to the casino? If I'm holding the drill stick, I was never planning to attend the concert anyway. I never pegged you for a gambling kind of gal, Moira. Oh, I'm not above a naughty night of debauchery. When Condi Rice and Sharon Stone and I used to make our annual casino sojourn to Ho Chi Minh City, well, let's just say, do it Kong Bowser do it. Okay, but it's been a really long time since I've spun that roulette wheel. And this is the only casino I haven't been banned from as an unaccompanied minor. Well, do we still have a reservation at Bucky's Fried Chicken House? Yes, but I wouldn't let that stop us. <laughs> what? Oh! 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 Please save your applause for Jocelyn, who's right behind me. <laughs> you know what I was going to change, and then I thought, no. If my babysitter can show up wearing a crop top the size of a bib, I can wear this to a casino! Yeah! <laughs> Jocelyn, you look amazing. Yes, why not throw caution in the dress code to the wind? <laughs> I'm sure the maitre d' at Bucky's will make an exception. Let's get going! Well, hello, 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 hello. Yeah, the bosses are rocking, don't come a-knocking! <laughs> I've come prepared with casino must-haves, oxygen drops, antibacterial wipes, and military-grade caffeine pills. The pills came from Condi, so if anyone asks, you found them on the floor. Mrs. Rose, when you said you were bringing essentials, I thought you meant snacks and something to drink. No. Well, nothing for the road? Don't worry, ladies, I've got you covered. This afternoon, I made some magic brownies! <laughs> THC and carbohydrates. <laughs> oh, Moira, we don't expect you to have one. One, at least one. Okay. <laughs> Who wants some champagne? <laughs> Are we up yet? It's either black or red, even or odd, and you never know where you're gonna land. I'm sorry, Jocelyn. If you'd have told me 20 years ago I'd be standing here with an empty chip bucket, stoned it on my mind at a Doodle Bops concert, I would have lit a menthol and had a look. You went to that show. Stepped in briefly. Roland Jr. is a huge fan of Wobbly Whoopsie. Where you may not believe this, but I used to walk out. Well, of course you did, as did anyone with brain cells to kill. I'm thinking of a particular night in Monaco with Maggie Trudeau and the Rolling Stones. You rocked out with the Stones? All except Charlie, but every party has a bumper. Myra, it's like on the inside, I feel like I'm 19 years old, and then I catch a glimpse of myself in the mirror, and I realize that I'm so not. Oh, Jocelyn, you'll soon learn that we aging mortals are blessed with weakening eyes and memories so that we don't have to really see ourselves. If you love the number 19, you go be 19. And while you're at it, bet on it. I can't take all of these. It only looks like a lot. Do as you will, Jocelyn, but whatever you do, rock onwards and upwards. Mm -hmm. Does anyone want more Bucky's? No! Who knew everything would contain chicken? Oh, that dessert menu was especially disappointing. Black Forest Tenders. Jocelyn's still not answering her phone. Well, somebody ought to go look for her. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jocelyn, is that you? Yes. I took your advice, Moira. And what advice was that? Yes, Jocelyn, what advice did I impart that translated into this daring new coiffure. But I can still rock on! Your chips bought this! And you certainly risked it all, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to go home. Wow, 
Oh, Jocelyn. You must feel so light and breezy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I love it too. I know. Thank you. Thank you. Do you recognize me from earlier? I have a new hairdo. Though I tried not to hurt you, though I tried, but I guess we all still like it, right? I think it really brings out my eyes. Right, Kel? Sure. It's not like we think it's a mistake or we regret it, right? Oh, you never regret a good time, Jocelyn. Thank you, Moira. You tell me the truth, I know. <laughs> it's really short. Well, we best be returning to the lab, Nathaniel. It's getting dark. But it's the middle of the afternoon. It must be a solar eclipse. That's not an eclipse, Nathaniel. Those are birds! Ah! Here goes! Ah! What have we done? The crows have eyes. The crowening. <laughs> Mrs. Rose, was that you the whole time? Indeed it was. Thanks in large part to the thaumaturgy of our special effects department. Stunning, isn't it? <laughs> what a human beak can do! So, wait, is, did you get the virus in the end? Is that not clear? Should we give it another watch? No! I think three times through is the sweet spot. Oh, this is so exciting. What if it gets nominated for an Oscar? <gasps> Twyla! No, we must keep the carriage in the wake of the mayor. Oh. Golden Globe, perhaps, but I won't let myself envisage that. I gotta say, the special effects look way better than what I pictured when you described it. Credit the technical wizardry of our team of imaginators. Gals were being rude. Jocelyn hasn't had a chance to render her opinion, though the adulation does appear to be unanimous. Well, it looked like a real movie. Now, there's the quote for the sizzle reel. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's neat. Neat. To see you in a, in a real movie. Anyways, I bet we are dying to get to rehearsal, ladies, so let's get those stands. Of course, we'll pick up this parlay after rehearsal. Were the crows nice? Mm. My uncle had a parrot that kept asking me to take my bra off. Oh, girls, you shouldn't have. Jocelyn, are we now moonlighting as town crier? Oh, no, Moira. Cheeky gal puss, you. Yes, it's true. Our husbands, at my husband's direction, are currently in New York City, vending their business to the corporate condescente. Oh, my gosh, that's so exciting. I wonder if they'll go to the M&M store. Shall I? Hence, our impending move to the big red delicious. Excuse me? Moira, I haven't said anything yet. <laughs> why the festivities, then? Grace is moving to Elm Valley. That's why the cake says goodbye, Grace. Oh, I, I, I thought you were singling out one of my notable attributes. OK, we'll just uh, smooth things over until Grace arrives. I'm right here. Yes, you are, Grace, our timorous grinagogue. I think I'll miss you most of all. Moira, are you sure it isn't a bit premature to be talking about all of this? No, don't worry, Jocelyn. Oh, are you kidding? No, John has decades on these people. OK, well, that makes me feel a little bit better. I, I got a little concerned when I got this text from Roland, but obviously I'm just reading into it, so. You've received correspondence. What am I looking at? Cartoon head exploding. Oh, it, it looks like three cartoon heads exploding. Well, then they're blowing people's minds. What's the concern? It's just that usually when Rolly sends that emoji, it's like his head is exploding. It's like he's in trouble. Yeah, I get a lot of those texts during council meetings. No, listen to me, Jocelyn. The deal has to happen. Because it has to, because there is no alternative, OK? It's as simple as that. Gripping my wrist very tightly, Moira. Okay. Well, let's just continue celebrating Grace. Right? I'm Grace. I know. 
But she's not, you're, you're not celebrating enough. No. <laughs> Why have I not been told about the double-decker sightseeing tour? <laughs> <laughs> We wanted to show our support for your move to the Big Apple. Yeah, we heard that Sunrise Bay was moving on without you, but who needs them? Well, you know. I say fuck them. <laughs> <Right. laughs> no, she's right, Moira. They'd be lucky to have you on their two-bit show. Yeah, and reboots are never as good as the original. Well, aren't you a wolf pack by which any gal would be so lucky to be protected? <laughs> but it's time for this pup to disperse to new territory. Sunrise Bay called with an irresistible offer. That's great, Mrs. Rose. I mean, who doesn't love a reboot? <laughs> so what does this mean? Alas, as much as it pains to say, this will mark my last rehearsal with you all. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thanks for the heads up. Camera waits for no one. Wow, Moira, I'm not as prepared for this as I thought I would be. Oh, Veronica, mm. I suppose you have something in your eye. No, I just, I just don't like surprises. We should, we should get started. May, may I just proclaim that I have rarely, it, never, I've never felt more buttressed than I have in your company, dear gals. Not to flog a metaphor, but wolf pups are born blind and deaf and in your care, I have learned to see and hear the beauty in the bucolic. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. No, let's not turn this into a Hallmark movie of the week. I've done enough of those for a lifetime. Maybe just a quick one. <laughs> <laughs>